Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays, a let's play of Animal Crossing Wild World on the DS. Uh, we are back in Maury Land, a DS version today uh, for a bit of a Wild World adventure. We're going to see who's about, chat to our villagers and have a bit of a chill day, of course, and just see what um, life has in store for us in the town today. So let's check out our mail first. Oh, we've got a, we've got a lot of mail. Why have we got, did we order something? Why have we got so much mail? Let's get through this. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We can probably throw most of this away. Um, Dear Maury, what was the name of that movie that we saw? You know the one with the guy with the eyebrow. I know you know. Mum. Um, what? An eyebrow? Not, not sure, in, honestly. Right, let's check out the next one here. We've got another one from Mum. Dear Maury, I tried to make a bunt cake today. Uh, that was my grave mistake on my part. It was terrible. Love mum. I love the cherry blossom uh, Paper there this pa cherry blossom stationery Okay, we're gonna have to do two at a time Because We only have two spaces. Can we read them whilst we're in here? No, we have to do it outside. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a long intro then looking at our mail um, This is what we get for not keeping up with it. Um, I am out of here, Maury. I'm moving, and it's sad, but the important thing is, um, it's all about me, because I'm moving, and it's sad. Later, from Pika. Oh, Pika left. Why did one of the mice leave instead? We've got, ooh, red. Maybe we'll have red today. Dear Maury, um, Crazy Red is on the way. This time, the password is Lax Adulthood. Speak of it to no one. Be there or be crazy. Okay, we're going to have to kind of keep that one, aren't we? Uh, let's get rid of this one and keep the crazy red password. Okay, getting through them slowly. I'm interested. Oh, that's right. We sent a bunch of letters. I remember now. We sent a bunch of letters. So we'll get to see what prize, I guess they're called prizes, or what we earn from exchanging letters. The HRA, 3,000 points. We're not too big into our happy room score at the moment. Lyle, it finally happened, dear you, Maury, get stung by a bee, hard luck, Lyle knows, here's have some money for the policy, insurance, yours, bang, Lyle, so the insurance finally paid out, okay, cool, how much is going to be, like, 100 bells, 100 bells, seriously, we pay, did we pay, like, 3,000 bells, that's kind of funny, though, but maybe there's another one, because we also got stung by bees multiple times, and we had all, all kinds of things that I feel like we should get insurance claim for. Right, these look to be our actual letters from villagers, though, so we're going to see what we uh, get from Mo. Dear Maury, your letters inspire me. So does Candy. I got these from Booker. You can have one. Oh, you got something from Booker. So you didn't even go out and buy it yourself, you just got it from the lost and found. And it is an armor suit. Well, it's not the worst thing in the world. Rosie, here we go. Um, hey there, Maury, I respond to people ASAP. You should too, I hopefully, I hope, hopefully? <laughs> I hope you totally dig this, Maury. Rosie, what do we get from Rosie? And it's another shirt, a princess shirt. We're still waiting on one fruit, aren't we? We still need cherries, I believe. Right, let's get the last piece of mail. That was a, that was a long, it took five minutes to, to get through this mail. It's crazy. And this one was from Butch. Butch, we sent a larger letter to, didn't we? Uh, oh, I've just realized we didn't get anything back from Champ. How dare he? Anyway, what did we get from Butch? Uh, you, listen, Maury, I just used this pen to pick my nose. FYI, this fell in the trash, but I can't toss it. Here, you got it? Butch. How lovely, Butch. How lovely. What did we get? We sent Butch a bigger letter, so I'm expecting this to be more than a common item. It's a carpet! That's not more... Well, maybe it is classed as not a non-common item, but backyard lawn is pretty cool carpet, but I was kind of thinking we'd get, like, an, an, a furniture item. But maybe we need to do even longer letter. There we go. We'll get rid of that. Throw away the evidence. Right, there we go. Anyway, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you joining me. 
I uh, hope you're still enjoying Wild World. This is definitely a more of a slower Let's Play than maybe our previous Animal Crossing Let's Plays, just because um, in terms of like decorating and stuff, you are limited to your home even more so than in City Folk, and we don't have events and things like that really. Um, so here, hey, probably one of my secret uh, favorite villagers, maybe. Oh, M Dog, Super Hugh. Uh, let's be aggressive when we shop for clothes today. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess. But don't go too crazy or your tail might catch on fire. Oh, that's right. You want to chat about something. Every time someone talks to us in real life, we should just say some crazy statement like, Be careful food shopping and, and don't pick apples too fast. And did you want something, by the way? <laughs> you know, Butch and Rosie, what do you think is up with them? Butch and Rosie? Oh. I don't know. I imagine they're friends. I think Rosie's kind of friends with everybody until she gets mad about something. Really, Snorthal? You think they're just friends? Well, that's boring. Well, you can feel free to make some rumors if you want to. Anyway, we're going to have a little look around town. Maybe there's a visitor. In fact, we should probably check the plot. Oh, I keep pressing the menu button instead of the pick up button. There we go. Well, maybe we'll check the plaza first because maybe there's a visiting character. Maybe Red is here. Red is... N oh, no, that's not the plaza. What am I doing? We need to go over to the town hall. I was totally thinking that was the um, uh, <laughs> the town hall for a second. That was the gate. Where is the... Oh, hey, Rosie. Oh, no. We've got to come back and talk to you, but since you've pinged. Oh, like, hi there. How's life, bud? It's all right. I heard people are talking about you. You're one of my bestest friends in the world, but we have a boring greeting. I mean, snore. Come on. We should say something sassy and cute, just like me. Oh, here's Champ. Where's my letter, Champ? We literally sent you something really cool. Hey, you're really smart. Why don't you come up with something silly? Um, I'll decide. Champ's watching, though. Oh, he's gonna go and do some watering. Okay, for a greeting for Rosie. Rosie's a cat. Um, what else can we do? That's, what's something to do with a cat? Is it is it too lame just to do a meow? If I can write it. Meow. That's about all I've got in me, Rosie. We're just not the most creative type when it comes to terminology. We should, like, spread this around Moriland so folks know that we thought of it. Yeah, they won't totally think you're being a cat at all. Anyway, here's the plaza. Here's the plaza. And, no, Red definitely isn't here. He must be coming. Oh, that's right. He comes on a Tuesday, so he'll be here tomorrow. Um, I think he always comes on a Tuesday now because we told Lyle that's when we'd like to see Red. Winners never quit. Quitters occasionally win. Oh. Very good. <laughs> Don't know what to say about that because it's kind of true, I suppose. So many weeds. They grow so quick. I wonder if it's a spring thing or do they just grow quickly in this game? Right, so there's still a chance there's someone walking around town, of course. Um, you never know. But anyway, let's go and aggressively buy some clothes. See what there is. Maybe there's a new outfit. I'm getting a bit tired of this jester hat. But we need something interesting. What's that? Is that the ninja hood? Oh, yes, you're looking at the ninja hood. Can I try it on? Oh, we do look kind of cool as a ninja. We already have the ninja top on, so I, I suppose maybe we should buy it. We could. What if. Let's try it on, then we try the eye patch on. There we go. The, the boy in the Animal Crossing movie wears the ninja outfit, doesn't he? Um, the post-op patch. Can I try it on? If only we could have a different color patch. That would be so cool. Is there a black one? Like a pirate patch? I don't like the fact that it's a post-op one. I, I want the pirate one. Hey, Sable. Oh, hi there. Uh, Maury, thank you so much for stopping by, as always. But I'd rather you not look too closely at my face today. Um, do you want me to put a patch on? <laughs> we, then we look at you half as much. It's just like, well, I have this whole... Uh, this whopper of a zit on my nose. I don't know why, but I get them so easily. Yuck! Stupid nose pimples. Maybe that's why I always had this bad habit of looking down. Oh, that reminds me. I had a huge one when that picture was taken. Why are you awfully open about this, Sable? What? Really? I'm looking, but I don't see a pimple anywhere. 
No, back when, uh, then, when you were so small, you probably forgotten. It's kind of like that thing where everyone's like, I love your haircut, until you change your haircut and, and you get a new style, and then everyone's like, oh, I'm so glad you did that, I hated your haircut. Like, what is with that? Ironically, the day before father was planning to get the family portrait taken, I got a huge pimple on the tip of my nose. It was so self-conscious. I would look in the mirror over and over and wipe it with a wet towel. I thought it would uh, it would cool it off or something. After a while, father got mad. It's just a pimple. Leave that thing alone. Beauty is on the inside. He was right, of course, but I was just a kid. I didn't understand the kindness behind these words, and I just cried and cried. But before I went to bed, mother whispered to me. She said the photographer could erase the pimple and not to worry. What? They had Photoshop in like 2000 and whatever it was, 5 minus however old Sable is now. I don't know. What are we talking here? It was just a zit, but it became such a big deal. It's so silly in retrospect. Still, uh, when she said that, I was so happy I thought I was going to cry. Ah, mother and father were such sweethearts, huh? That's right, Mabel. You and I have that blood running through our veins. We better not forget everything that mother and father did for us. Well, that that was a little, uh, little heartwarming, I suppose. A little nice, nice little story there, but also a sad story. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna leave you now. We're dressed as a ninja. I think we have to take off our disguise because it just looks a little bit crazy with our disguise and a ninja hood on. But I would say that was somewhat aggressive. You don't get much more aggressive than a ninja. Uh, remove accessory. Okay, so we can go ahead and sell these. I don't think we need to keep any of this stuff, actually. Yeah, there we go. We're a ninja. It's so cool. The, the hood is really nice, actually. Okay, we're, we'll have another look, look around. If I can get my words out. And then maybe we'll come back to Nooks and sell what we've got. Um, oh yes, we're overdue a fruit harvest. A lot of money laying here. We could probably pay our debts off with just coconuts at this point. We'll go and do the other ones as well. Keep our eyes open for weeds. If I can pick it up. So yeah, we're dressed like the, the character from the Animal Crossing movie. Which is pretty cool. I forget his name now. So many weeds. Who's that? Is that a... No, that's Hugh. I was hoping to see a traveling character. I feel like we haven't seen anyone walking around in a while. Here's another one. Look at all these. We've got space to drop all these. Oh, wow. They do drop quite far. Oh, my goodness. We've left this so long. <laughs> Oh, I think we lost the coconut there. Oh, that one jumped onto the beach. Yeah, we're going to pick these up later because I'm feeling lazy. I don't think I can be bothered to do a fruit harvest today. I really was hoping there was going to be someone here, but I guess not. We can just talk to the villagers. Uh, champ, where was our letter? We sent you a really nice letter and you were the only one that... Oh, we've got a... we have got a visitor. Just in the top corner if you spied him. Oh, excited. Anyway, champ, we sent you, like, a letter. You were the only one that didn't reply. Hey, you. you got to help me out, M-Dog. Look, there's Wendell coming into frame. Uh, which means we're going to have to do some fishing. Oh, is he coming to see us? I can't decide whether to practice Taekwondo or lateral squat grinders. Oh, what about quad busters? So many muscles to burn, so little time. Enough of that, though. you got something to say to me? Um, I'm... Board, but we, we kind of not because we want to get and talk to Wendell actually uh, How have we already been playing for 15 minutes? What is going on? Um, if you have questions about flowers, you got to ask Hugh Ask Hugh? 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 Because <laughs> uh, actually I'm pretty dang clueless Okay uh, Hey Wendell so, so hungry, must eat something. Belly so empty, feels like a black hole. It screams for food. Fainting spell imminent. Something, anything, please, I need food. Oh no, we can't tell him to grow up. 
Oh, eyes dimming, but daddy fading. Hunger, so strong. It's so cute that he's hungry all the time. What was that? I swear I heard food. Mocking me. Oh, don't, don't eat us. We're not mocking you. No. What, what are you carrying there? Is that a sketchbook or a map? Hmm? I wish there was a way to get, like, better camera angles on this thing. Oh, he's running away. Don't worry, we're not going to eat you, and you're not going to eat us. We're running. Okay, well, we need to get a... Uh, uh, we need to get a fish, and there's not really a good guide for the fish for Wendell. We want the road patterns, and I believe they're distributed randomly based on random fish. So, there are certain fish that get road patterns, I think. Um, say, like, 12 fish, but they doesn't matter which one you give him. Out of those 12 fish, you still get a random pattern. So, we'll just see what we can catch. Um... I do wish they had a dock in... Uh, oh, here's a star. I do wish they had a dock in Wild World, though. I would like to get in the middle of the ponds a bit easier. Right, let's do some fishing. Oh, we hear a balloon. Okay, we've caught a loach. What did we get last time? Um, right, we need a sli our slingshot so we can see if we can get this balloon. Oh, a slingshot's already out. Okay. Have we got enough time to get this balloon? I don't know if we're going to make it. We're not going to make it. Oh, no. I bet that was a really cool item as well. Okay, we've got a loach. I don't feel like that would be any any good. It's not a very good fish, is it? I feel like you have to have a rarer fish. Hey, Butch. Thanks for the letter and the, the, the nose-picking pen. Oh, is that one? Oh, that looks like a, a big fish. Big-ish fish. And it ignored us. It's not moving. Maybe it's a trash. Oh, it is moving now. I was like, maybe it's a trash item. It's not really moving. Okay, we've got a black bass. Okay, that might be. It's a big fish. I always feel like the bigger fish and the rarer fish. Um, oh, here's another one. Yield better results, but it could be completely wrong. There's just no way of telling. Pretty much all the random river fish should get us a decent pattern. I kind of hope it's the vertical road though, so we can at least start making some paths. Another black bass. Well, we could donate one, I suppose. Hey, Hugh. Hey, M Dog, I thought the perfect nickname for you. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's Scout. Isn't it just perfect? I don't, I don't like that. We're, at, we're, we're gonna, can we turn it down? It sounds even cooler when I say it out loud. Oh no, we don't get a chance. I prefer M Dog. Of course, hard to see the fish in this. Oh, it's two. Hard to see the fish in this game, for me. They totally ignored it. How do we get the silver of tools in this game? Is it the same way? I can hear Wendell to our left. Oh no, it's Hugh. It sounded bigger. Okay, Crucian Carp. I was hoping for something a little bit more exotic. Oh, I panicked. See, I think we just, I think it is the river fish that we need. So there's no point in doing any sea fishing at the moment. Anything else we should probably donate to the museum. Just to be a good resident. 
Is that a fish there? No, there's that weird thing under the water there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a deeper bit. I think if Wendell just jumped into the river, he would eat so much food. It would save a lot of trouble. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go this side of the river. So we can get a better view. Almost a better view. We can li literally see the whole river now. Just... I think we've scared them away. I think they know why we're catching. Trying to catch them. Am I walking past these fish or is there literally no fish here? It's so hard to get them when they go under the bridge. Okay, if not, we might have to just stick with the ones that we've got. And hope for the best. It's a shame we can't do multiple patterns in one day. Hugh, do you see any fish up here? Am I going blind here? There definitely seems to be less fish. I don't know if it's the time of year. Or maybe even the time of day. Ah, oh, here's a fish. Finally. It's just out of frame. Pretty sure it's there. Although, no, not like it's probably swimming away. Where did it go? There it is. Oh, it's gone out of frame again! Okay, if we're patient, our lure is right in the middle of the river. We might get lucky, it might swim back towards us. This could be a salmon or something. Aren't we near the mouth of the river? Nope. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I don't know if I'm just bad at fishing or if it's just tricky. What have we got? Another loach, is that? Oh, I get the feeling we did a loach last time. I don't know if we should do a loach again. I want to hand over something that's different from a loach or a bass or a carp. Hey, Butch. Uh, you see, there are a lot of slackers in this world, um, but I'm not one of those people, right? Or am I? Not at all. I'm going to put a little under not at all. You're allowed to slack a little bit. Oh, really? Is that what I seem to you? Uh, maybe. Maybe I should just start acting my age, huh? We didn't want to... Oh, at least we didn't offend you. I didn't want to offend you. I was just trying to be nice. You can slack a little bit. Was that a fish over there? Okay, big fish. Come back here. Oh, it's another bass. There's always the chance that we've caught all the different types of fish today in the river. Apart from the like, super rare ones. Don't turn around. I knew it was going to do that. I knew it! Nope. Can we get around the other side before we scare it off? Is it in the middle? It's in the middle now. <gasps> I think this might be a rare fish, like a koi. Because 
ones. You do get ones that spawn just in the pond, for example. A river fish that just spawns in the pond. I can't reach it. This is why we need a dock. Okay, we might have to go around the other side. Even though as soon as we get there, we all know what's going to happen. It's going to go the other side. Say yellow perch. Oh, another balloon. Okay, basically got full pockets. So we're going to have to pick one of these fish to give to Wendell. Hey, first time. Got an alarm clock. Okay, so we're going to have to give one of these fish to Wendell. So we've got loach, a black bass, a yellow perch, a Crucian carp, and another, another, oh, another black bass. We've got three. Maybe we should just give a black bass then. I can't remember what we did last time. It was either Crucian carp or something like that. I'm glad the villagers are happy though. Right, let's find this Wendell. Oh, there you are. Come down here. Come out of the trees, Wendell. So we can see. Are you trying to steal our apples or something? I was really hoping for... To see you properly, not hiding behind a tree. Can we push you? Can't really push Wendell. Wendell's too strong. So hungry, must eat something. Okay, we're gonna go with the black bass then. I just hope we don't get the same one again. Um, Okie dokie, here's some food. So it seems we've got three black bass. You can have this one here. Uh, I'm back from the brink. So thank you so much. Sweet, sweet food. I must eat it. Yummy. At least you don't sound as disgusting eating as you do in City Folk <laughs> when you're wearing a headset. Ah, mm. Very delicious. Very full and happy. Uh, thanks for your help. Please, please take this, my favorite piece. Uh, but you'll have to toss one out so you have it now. Do you still want it? Yes. Of course. Uh, oh, yeah. Just making sure I'm not pressing the wrong thing there. So here's our first road. So we've got... No, no, no. We don't want to put it there. Um, I just want to see... Have we got this, the name for this one? The West Pattern. Put it here. So very happy, so very... Oh, the crosswalk design. Is that like a zebra crossing? Or is that like a... Is that like a... Like a crossway? What do you call it? Like crossroads. So full of happiness, so round in the belly. Well, whatever makes you happy. Let's have a look. Oh, cute! It's like a little zebra crossing. That is cute. It's going to take so long to get the rest of these designs. Let's have a look. Let's go and put it near the plaza or something. Near the... Where do we put the other one? Near the museum. We've got to go there anyway. Just so we can have a look and see what it looks like on the floor. If I don't run into any buildings first. Champ, we're going to talk to you just because I'm really disappointed we didn't get your photo yet. Uh, you been pumping iron or what? By the way, what's going on with you today? Speak to me. What's that hang dog look? You looking for a handout? All right, here you can have this, my sky wall. Oh, thanks. I uh, found that lying around, but it looks like you can still get some use from it. Uh, I can't believe people don't take care of their stuff. That's so true. Oh, we made him happy and we got something that we can sell. <laughs> 
okay, let's have a look at this little crossroad thing. Um, can we pick this up? There we go. I feel like it would go right outside the museum. Um, I wonder if there's one... Oh yeah, we have to... I was trying to tap it. We have to drag it somewhere, don't we? I was wondering if there's one the other way, like a vertical crossroad. Because that wouldn't really go there, would it? Because the road would be going up and down. But it looks kind of cool for now. So that's what it looks like. So we've got two road pieces. So I guess that's one of the little milestones that would be nice to reach. Is get all the road patterns from Wendell. I suppose we could make them ourselves, but... Uh, so frightfully tired during the day. Don't worry, Blathers. We'll be quick. Here's a loach for you. Oh, indeed, a loach. Uh, you must give me... Uh, you gave me a start. Oh, I thought you said roach. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. No bugs today. Uh, it sounds re repellent, I know. So we're doing good trying to keep up to date with the museum. So we can thank Wendell for this as well, having some extra fish. Um, so did we do a black bass already? We might as well try. Oh, it's four o'clock. Um, in sport fishing, the black bass is very often the main quarry. It's apparently a delicious fish, so I imagine some sport cooking fellows. Indeed, I imagine they would call that the catch and eat program. Was that a joke or was that a fact? <laughs> Okay, we've got the yellow perch. Bit disappointed none of the villagers have commented on our cool outfit. Oh, we've already done a yellow uh, perch. One more thing to try then. Cruising carp, probably already done this as well. Yeah, no worries. We'll go and sell that blather. Thank you very much. We've already donated Crucian Carp, um, which is good. So we can go and sell what we've got now. And at the very least, we've gotten a pattern from Wendell. We've also made a little bit of money just from uh, stocking up on some of the things we've got. Oh, you're outside the shop now, Wendell. It's such a shame we can't give more patterns. Hey, Tom Nook. Uh, more fish, I mean, to get more patterns. Sorry. Actually, the sky wall and the back... Oh, did we... Oh, I thought we had a back garden. The backyard lawn and the sky... Do you know what? I'm going to keep those. Actually. Backyard lawn and the sky wall. It's kind of, they go together, don't they, I think. So if we ever get another room, that would be quite good in there. Oh, yeah, actually, we should ch check turnip prices as well while we're here. Oh, 72 bells. It's not bad for a, well, it's Monday, actually. It's pretty bad. We've got a surfboard. This golf bag would look good with our... Oh, this would look cute as well. A little wheelbarrow. That would actually look good in our house with the road. And the golf bag might look good with our backyard lawn. Wow, we're designing a second room already. I'm buying it just so we... We don't often buy too much, so I'm just going to treat ourselves today, I think. Um, I'm not going to worry myself with the flowers today. Even though we should, but we've had a pretty good day, so... I think we've just got to leave them for now. I'm going to go and pay off a little bit of debt. Just to remind ourselves where we're at. We can we can splurge 10,000 bells, can't we? We need to do this. I keep forgetting. We need to unlock the spotlight items. And also upgrade nooks. Um, what am I doing in here? Oh yeah, debt. Pay a mortgage. Uh, so you'd like to pay a payment of your loan to Tom Nook? Well, let's see. Your current bell balance is 45,000 bells. That's lower than I thought. So we could do 10,000. 
So that takes it to 35. We might even be able to clear that with just the coconuts in the next episode. And seeing somebody moved out, we should really check on the day they move. Because we when that one time we found like five or six items from someone's house in here. It must be on the day that they move out, I think. Because we haven't seen it since. Um, but they definitely do that. This is something unique to Wild World, I think. They emptied a lot of the contents of their house into the recycling bin. But there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. I was just really hoping today to chill a little bit and see a traveling character. And we definitely did that. We definitely chilled. We were a little bit lazy. Um, and we, also, of course, got to see Wendell, which is just so good. Uh-oh, we're being bullied. Leave me alone, Hugh. It's pushing us into the doorway. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, Hugh is not letting us... What is he doing? I don't know if he's upset or what, but thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you tuning in um, to the Let's Plays. It means a lot. Please drop in the comments your favorite Let's Play, even if it's not Wild World. Let me know if you're enjoying City Folk more, or if you're enjoying Zelda more, or if you'd like to see any other games. Let me know in the comments. Your feedback and ideas are super valuable and super important to me. Um, I really appreciate the community, and I really want to try and build that even more. So. Thank you for your input if you've got time to leave a little comment and just if not thank you so much for being here all the way to the end of the video and of course a huge shout out to the channel members as well for making all this possible and supporting the channel every single month without fail and just allowing me to have the time to dedicate to recording, editing and uploading because even a half an hour video it takes a long time to set up, record, edit, and upload. So I, I really appreciate the fact that you appreciate that. So thank you so much. Um, so yeah, also if you'd like to become a member, you can join for as little as a cup of coffee a month and it helps out so much. It's, it's so significant and I'd really appreciate it. But if not, leave a like on the way out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, bye.